Hey folks, it's Norm Bergen here, taking you on an insider tour of Jasper National Park. Today we are up here at Jasper's disappearing and poof, reappearing lake. First people of this area thought this lake was haunted. They were suspicious. You see, the lake would just dis disappear. And because of that, they called it Bad Medicine Lake. Well, folks, it's a geological anomaly. You see, it's not really a lake at all. It's a sinking river, one of very, very few in the world. What makes Medicine Lake unusual is that there is no visible channel for draining the lake. The question we all have is, where does the water go? In the spring, meltwater from the surrounding mountains pours into the lake from the south and drains out through sinkholes in the bottom, which act like underground plumbing. The water then travels through a cave system formed in the limestone rock beneath, surfacing again 14 kilometers downstream in Moline Canyon. In just a few weeks, these mud flats will be completely covered in water, and you can see where the water will come up to the tree line. Back in the 70s, researchers used a biodegradable dye that they put here into the water to find out where all this water flowed to. And they've discovered that the water feeds not only the lakes in this area, not only the Moline River going into the Athabasca River, but there was a rancher north of Calgary that noticed that the lake behind his property changed colors. So he called the environmentalists and they discovered that after two years, the dye reached his location and that lake is fed from underground. That makes Medicine Lake the entrance of one of the largest known sinking rivers and what may be the largest inaccessible cave system in the world. Medicine Lake also provides a wonderful opportunity for you to come here and catch your dinner. You see, there are brookies and rainbow trout in this water. Bald eagles nest in this area, and they live off of the fish population from Medicine Lake. Before the start of World War I, one of Jasper's best known outfitters, Frederick Archibald Brewster, and a crew of local men were contracted by the government to clear a wagon road up the Moline Valley as far as Medicine Lake. Brewster then established tent camps here on the south side of the lake. Guests traveled to the lake by horseback and stayed in primitive tent cabins made of a plank floor and log walls covered with canvas. In the 1940s, Brewster rafted a fleet of old Packard touring cars across Medicine Lake to make it easier and faster to transport guests and supplies to the camp. The public road that brings us up here to Medicine Lake was completed in 1969 and paved in 1970. As we drive up to Medicine Lake, you will see the effects of the Excelsior Forest Fire. It occurred on the 1st of July, 2015 from a lightning strike. Smoldering underground for nine days, the wildfire consumed 966 hectares or about 10 square kilometers of forest and took two weeks to bring under control. As destructive as forest fires can be, it is also very important for the health and the new growth of the forest. It releases valuable nutrients stored in the organic litter on the forest floor and opens the forest canopy to sunlight. It also stimulates new growth for some tree species like lodgepole and jack pine, which require intense heat to open their cones and free their seeds. Do you remember the legend of Bad Medicine Lake? I wonder if anything happens here on Halloween night. Maybe we should come up and find out. Stay safe, be well, and I'll see you in the mountains.